guys, it's Travis coming at you with the take three of this video uh, for your Thursday edition of the swimming topic. As you can see, I do not need to wear anything to go swimming anymore. However, I did have to at one point in time. When I would go swimming before I had surgery, I just wore my binder. I used to wear the Underworks tri-top binder, um, the black one. That was just personal preference on my color. So I would tend to wear a gray muscle tee or a gray t-shirt over it when I would go over to my friend's house or I'd go to the beach. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really go to public pools, but gray or white are acceptable colors of t-shirts to wear in a chlorinated pool. Um, so you should be perfectly okay with that. Um, some of my buddies used to wear rash guards over their binders, which again, you could wear that to any water park or any pool as long as it's a swim, you know, swim top material. Um, to where you can buy the rash guards at, um, I don't know, unless you have a surf shop near you or maybe a sports store might sell them, otherwise you can buy them online. Um, T-shirt, go to Walmart and buy it. Um, those are the only things I use for swimming. I know there's a bunch of companies out there now that I've come across and I can't think of the names right now where I've seen various articles of clothing to um, assist in swimming today's trans man, you know, two years later after I don't need it anymore. Um, but, yeah, so that's what I ordered it out. Where can you buy, I already covered that. Do I pack when I go swimming? I do not pack at all. I don't pack in day to day, so I don't pack when I go swimming, and I lifeguard as, as a second job, so I'm in swim suit five days a week, um, and I just, frankly, I just don't care. I mean, I know swim shorts cling, but I don't care. I've been lifeguarding now for seven years, um, majority of which I've been in transition, and I haven't had anyone question my gender identity or my claims at being male because they don't see anything in my swim trunks. Um, so, I mean, that's just personal. I don't, frankly, I just don't want to be jumping in to make a rescue and then plop up comes my penis floating up next to me in the pool and I got a bunch of kids and everything around and be like, oh, what's this? You know, it might be kind of awkward. So, again, there's a lot more things out there now. I've seen a lot of um, swim boxer trunk things and stuff like that out there now that guys can buy. Um, I've actually considered buying some of those products so that I could pack in my swim trunks. I have not yet. In the event that I do purchase any of those items, get out of my video! Stop it. Sorry, my cat is getting there. But again, as I was saying, if I do end up purchasing any of those products, I think it's Transwear or something like that. It's the name of the company. I don't know. I, Jack has the, the link, I'm pretty sure. But um, I'll post a review if I end up getting any of those items. Um, my scarves, um, as you can tell... They kind of fade up in here, but then they get a little pink as you go into here. Um, I've never had a problem with my scars. I can't even think of one person that's even made mention of them. Um, and I walk around the pool all the time now without a shirt on. And I would only walk around the pool last summer on cloudy days uh, because I had just gotten, you know, you're not supposed to have your scars in the sun for X amount of time. Or I just lit heavily put on sunscreen if I needed to, um, but I never had any questions, never had any one stare at me or make a comment or anything like that, I mean, people just don't, um, I don't think people really pay that much attention, and if they do, I don't think that majority of them in a pool setting are comfortable enough to be like, hey, what are those scars from? Um, so I wouldn't really be concerned about having to explain your scars, and I've gone to pools in various states, and I mean, I've gone to wherever without a shirt on, and nobody's really asked me any questions or anything like that. 
Other advice and tips. Swim. Be comfortable to swim. Um, if you're not comfortable, like I wasn't real comfortable swimming in the beginning of my transition, so I stayed away from public pools, stayed away from water parks. I limited my pool swimming going to people's houses that had pools or the beach um, because I was not comfortable and I didn't want to have to deal with, you know, not having the right swim attire to go to these pools or to go to the water parks or something like that. So I avoided a lot of swimming in the, in the beginnings of my transition. But I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming out now that, you know, might be help, helpful um, to guys nowadays. But, I mean, basically, you got to do what's comfortable. Um, rash guards, like I said, if you don't want to wear a t-shirt, um, rash guards are perfectly acceptable at all pools, so you could wear that over your binder, um, and that would be okay too. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it. Apologies for my cat trying to get into the video. He wants to be on YouTube too, apparently. Maybe I should video him. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next week.